All right, this is breaking information coming in from government sources. Uh, the central government, in fact, sources have indicated that the chief secretary's retirement shows that Mamta Banerjee is on the back foot. This is information coming in from the centre, but they're saying that uh, Mamta Banerjee knows that the facts of the matter are against the chief secretary, and this is a last bid to save him. Mamta Banerjee has done a big U-turn in a matter of hours, from requesting PM to confirm the extension of chief secretary for three months to retiring him now. But this doesn't change anything. Charge sheet will be issued and disciplinary action will be taken against Alapan Bandopadhyay. Let's go across to Megha Prasad as well as Tamal, who's joining us uh, live on the story. Megha, I'll come to you first. Uh, government sources here at the centre are indicating that disciplinary action, nevertheless, despite the retirement of Alapan Bandopadhyay, will continue against him. That's what we are picking, Madhav. Uh, we are being told uh, by, by our sources here in the government that, uh, you know, the action... Uh, will continue in the sense that action will be taken against him after a charge sheet is filed in this entire matter. Um, and that whatever has happened today, the change of mind by the West Bengal government, a change of mind by Mamta Banerjee, uh, by ensure, you know, which of course reflected in her action that she ensured Mr. Alapan Bandupadhyay retires as he was due today. Remember why we are saying this, Madhav, because he already was given a three-month extension. The reason cited was that he was uh, leading this entire, uh, uh, you know, the government's uh, endeavor in fighting COVID pandemic there in West Bengal, and he was required, uh, uh, you know, to be a part of the administration so that effective measures could be taken or everything was actually happening under him. So Mamta Banerjee had sought a three-month extension that was duly given to him. Why did this change happen? Now, uh, the center here is of the opinion that, of course, uh, she ensured that his... Uh, uh, that he no longer continues in the position of uh, chief secretary, that another role is given to him, but outside the government, that he does not continue to be part of the government. Uh, this could be this could be a way to avoid any action being taken against him because then he super technically today he's retired, he's out of the government, even though the new uh, role that has been given right. to him as an advisor to uh, the West Bengal chief minister lasts for three long years and he pretty much will be doing the same thing with the same powers, you know, if we have experiences anything to go by Madhav. Center says that doesn't change anything. He was the uh, he was an officer of the government of India and, and the All India Service Rule applies to him. And so in this matter, the matter by because okay. of which the Cabinet Committee of Appointment met and asked him uh, to, uh, you know, rather attached him to DOPT here in Delhi, that case will go ahead, the charge sheet will happen. And of course, uh, uh, you know, action will be taken against him is what they are saying right now. I mean, this is pending investigation, Madhav. All right, just stay with us, Megha. Let me also take the point across to Tamal. Tamal, now this is very important because if there is disciplinary action that is initiated against Alapan Bandopadhyay despite his retirement, then perhaps there would be no other option but to approach the CAT or courts of law to uh, quash those proceedings or at least act against them uh, for Alapan Bandopadhyay now that he has officially retired from service. Well, Madhav, first you have to understand, uh, you know, the centre has already filed caveat before courts, uh, uh, fearing that there could be some legal move on behalf of the state or from behalf of Alapan Bandhapadhyay. However, it has not really happened. The second important point, now that you talk about disciplinary action, and I was just talking to my sources after having seen this information, uh, you, you know, p p coming to us from government sources, uh, uh, we, we're trying to figure out as what is the option before uh, Alapan Bandhapadhyay. So, uh, what I'm being told, uh, and if I can quote the gentleman, uh, you know, on what ground will a disciplinary action be initiated? Something that has to be informed to Alapan Bandhapadhyay at the first place. Minded, uh, on, on 10th of May, Mamta Banerjee had written a letter to the centre asking for extension of Alapan Bandhapadhyay. On 24th of May, the extension was given by the centre. On 28th of May, the recall happened, but no explanation was given. Yes, the Chief Minister had kind of responded to the recall, has responded to the letter, has written to the Prime Minister, but thereafter, 
there has not been response coming in from the Prime Minister to the Chief Minister. Now that the letter has come from DOPT to the Chief Secretary, he basically has been asked to join DOPT once again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Once again in that second letter too, there has been no reasoning given as whether it's a disciplinary action, as, well, as whether Alapun Bandhapadhyay has been reprimanded for what allegedly unfolded on 28th of May at Kalai Kunda. So given the fact right. that in the run-up to things up till now, there has not been any official communication uh, between the uh, centre and the state, between DOPT and Alapun Bandhapadhyay, as why is being shifted or why is being asked or why is being recalled, the scope for a disciplinary action, how much it stays, we have to wait and see. Yes, when it happens, will Alapun Bandhapadhyay seek some legal recourse? Once again, you have to wait and see. At this point in time, what you can confirm, Alapun Bandhapadhyay was supposed All to retire right. today. He has accepted his retirement. Yes. Whether this retirement happened before the show cause came, okay. something again. Tamal, we'll have we to leave it there for the moment. I'd like to thank you and Mega for joining us.